What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel and oh my god. Konami we just won't stop. They they won't stop. I tell you man, Konami is and I've never had herpes. I can only imagine what it's like. You look one day and you got some stuff growing down there. You're like, what is this? You put cream on it, an ointment. You go to a doctor, you swallow some pills, it goes away, you think you're fine, and you go out for a hot date a month later, and you're going home with the beautiful date, and you drop your drawers, and this thing has risen again. And that is Konami, the herpes of the video game publisher and developer industry. They will not stop. I don't know what's happening. I feel like I feel like at this point it's it should be Konami exit. We should all just leave Konami alone because the company screwed us. They really have. And it's been systematic screwage over the last few years. They screwed us out of some of our favorite franchises. They screwed us out of Silent Hill. They screwed us out of Castlevania. They screwed us out of Metal Gear. They screwed us out of Contra. They screwed us out of Turtles. I mean, all these great games from the past that I grew up playing were Konami games. Seriously, Castlevania Symphony of the Night is a Konami game. Silent Hill 2 is a Konami game. How can this company become something that we loathe, that we hate so much? I wish that it wasn't the case, but nothing they've done has really brought me back around to make me want to admire, respect them, or support them financially. They, it hasn't happened yet. And the last game that I bought uh, for, through Konami was Metal Gear Solid 5, and I bought it. I still haven't had a chance to play it. I think I've only played maybe an hour and a half <laughs> into the game. My wife and I started playing it together. Other things happened and we stopped. But I just, this is the problem that Konami has. And they have, they don't have anyone smart enough in their executive offices to say, hey, look, this is what we need to do to address the elephant in the room so we can move forward and go back and, and address our fan base and hopefully win them back over. No one has ever said this to any executives that the issue that people have with Konami is the way that they conducted business with Hideo Kojima. We have major, major grievances with the way that that was conducted. When it comes to a professional atmosphere, there's a certain way that you're supposed to conduct yourself. And being extremely vindictive, very, very negative, and going after someone tit for tat to try to destroy every single thing that they touch appears to be something that corporations do not do. It just seemed like for that period of time, for that year, there was one incredibly evil person controlling every move that Konami made against Hideo Kojima. Also, the fact that they've pretty much screwed over Koji Igarashi, the developer of Castlevania, and they wouldn't fund his games, that pissed me off. The fact that some of the greatest franchises in gaming history are Konami games, and they've just been left in the dust, really, really infuriates me. And let's not talk about the pachinko machines, because I'm sure that that pisses off a lot of people. But apparently Konami's doing fairly well, and they're looking to find new ways to siphon funds from your purse or your wallet. I'll drop a link in the description. Konami sees increase in profits and wants to look into esports and virtual reality. Even though Konami's latest business decisions haven't always worked in the favor of the fans, they appear to be doing much better than expected for the company. Konami has reported that for the last six month period ending September 30th of this year, it has seen an increase in operational profits by 36.9% from the previous year. Led by sales of its recently released Pro Evolution Soccer 2017, but mainly its health and fitness divisions have been leading the charge. However, it's not done yet, as the publisher is currently looking to provide customers with, quote, valuable time, end quote, through virtual reality games, and also wants to partake in, quote, serious development, end quote, of esports. It's done rather well with PES competitions and the recent Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card competition, so this could certainly work. The company also noted that, it will, quote, continue to diversify, end quote, in the mobile division, but hasn't mentioned specific projects just yet. It also plans to release Metal Gear Survive in the new year, which it hopes will add further to its profits, despite some negative feedback up on its reveal. Yeah, so that game, I doubt it's going to be any good. You know, it's one of those situations, it's kind of like the Resident Evil knockoffs that Capcom made, uh, Operation Raccoon City, and the crappy ones that are just horrible. That's what Metal Gear Survive is going to be in my opinion. It has nothing to do with Kojima's 
vision of what Metal Gear, the espionage aspect of what the game is, now we're fighting zombies. It's just a cash cow. I know some people are going to buy it. Some people are just hardcore Metal Gear fans. They'll buy anything with the Metal Gear title, even though it has nothing to do with the man that made Metal Gear what it is. So, Konami, I said it before. I said it eight months ago, six months ago. Someone needs to come out and have a press conference and say, hey, look, we know why you're upset. Let us explain our side of the situation and hopefully we can meet at a common ground and continue to work together we'll make games for you you guys can support us we apologize something but the big elephant is sitting in the fucking corner is looking directly at us and it has Metal Gear Solid 5 hanging around its neck it has Koji Igarashi under its foot and it has Castlevania and all these great games under all its other feet and it's just crapping down the back of Hideo Kojima. I mean, that's the big elephant in the room that we all see, and you're pretending that it's not there. And that's the thing that frustrates me the most. Who knows what will happen with uh, Konami in the future? And apparently, they're making money in their health and fitness, so continue that. But as far as gaming goes, I think they've got a lot of work to do. They've got to really woo over gamers and prove to us that they're not the pieces of shit that we really think they are. You guys let me know what you think about Konami in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining in the least, please give a thumbs up to show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel by going to BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,